Well, it, you know what's neat? This is kind of fitting due to the fact that I'm using the original recording device, uh, my old 640p uh, digital camera. Now, thank you, Charles Satora, because I didn't clue in at first. Like, you were like, oh, uh, can you, um, like, um, what do you think is going to happen with the Russians and so on and so forth? And I was like, okay, I'll do a video because I there's just so much to go on about it. Then I'm looking over here. And I was like, oh shoot, this has got something to do with Charles Latora and what he wants to um, find out about. And I was like, how the hell am I going to do this? It's on a completely different part of the map. Reason being is because I need to start inserting map 5.6s. I was looking at it, well, from this perspective, this way with the Russians. And um, I was like, Jesus H., I know based on the uh, Berevich dictum and also with uh, the Katowice conference agreement, it's perfectly okay for Berevich and the Austro-Hungarians to uh, push all the freaking Russian troops here that are just in really bad shape. It's actually, they're in, well, you're going to see in a minute, it's really, really, really bad shape here. But then I was looking over here and I was like, wait a minute, I didn't realize how important Cernowitz or Cernowitz or is. I'm going to have to call it Cernowitz. You know what? I'm just going to have to go uh, just the way everybody else seems to do. It. Just pick and choose your pronunciations. Anyways, and some I'm going to get right and some I'm going to get wrong. That's just the way it goes. I didn't realize how important Cernowitz is for moving troops there in and out I don't and I keep seeing this over and over well, this week it even happens I think the Austrians retake Cernowitz from the Russians uh, yeah, I think it's that way because um, it's been off again on again uh, type place and I'm like well no kidding this and then Clark Commando 1983 I'm trying to always connect dots man uh, mentioning how he just absolutely adores uh, the Durvelt Krieg maps because they show the terrain historically or how to get things, like how things happen ended up historically. And I was like, what's he talking about at the very beginning? And I started looking at it more and more and then looking at the way he plays. I'm sorry, this is like 80% uh, scale down, so it's uber tiny. And... Um, I was like, holy F, this guy knows what he's talking about. So, anyways, that's it. Let's slowly try. I could have sworn, when I, why I'm using this camera, not because of nostalgia purposes, it's due to the fact that I thought perhaps I could hit the pause button. I'm sure I could hit the pause button somewhere. Okay, let's go into god-awful land, which is going to be... It's so weird, eh, to think that, like, for me anyways, like, game-wise, the Russians have won, and it's over with. But I'm going to keep on trucking with this, and the Russians are in deep, deep trouble. Um, trust me, Charles, I'm going to do a much better video than this. Uh, Charles Latour, a much better video than this. I'm just giving a quickie. I don't well, yeah, I'm trying to edit it here. Hold on. But look at this. That's in. I mean, that's... There's no one there. Remember, like I said about the Berevich dictum, the Austro-Hungarians are going to push all those Russian troops away from the border. It is disgusting. Okay, let's go take a look at, because you can't, well, maybe you can easily uh, read upside down, I don't know. So, but you can see it's not good. It's not good. You can, I mean, come on, man. You can see how hard, there's hardly any Russian troops there. And a bazillion... Uh, Austro-Hungarian troops with their uh, lines of communication and supply just in great shape. And the Russians, hmm, uh, I don't know if I can hang, it's this flippin' double, it's that a major river, uh, the Dniester, that's just so enticing. I have to figure out some, it's, well, actually it's this, it's the glaring hole between the 8th and 3rd. I just don't know if I can get enough troops down here. Uh, I know there'll be a ton of troops come January. I just don't know how far back. I think it's probably going to be right back to the original border. Uh, I, that's what I have to start. I, you know what? Maybe that's what I have to start realizing. Is that uh, that's probably what's going to happen. Uh, the Brevich dictum is going to uh, dictate that that's as far as they go. And then um, I have to start planning. Oh. Anyways, that's it. Adios. Uh, I think so. Nope.
<laughs> it's been so long since I've uh, used this camera. Oop, I have to hit the thing.